I've recently been asked by several clients how they can capture a screenshot and then save it as a PDF. Let's look at how to do this using the built-in features in Microsoft Windows and Microsoft Office. Hi, I'm Don Bjork, the Software Pro and a Microsoft Certified Trainer. In Windows, there are two ways to be able to easily capture a screen. One is using the snipping tool and the second is with keyboard shortcuts. Let's say that I want to capture this list of files for an upcoming Excel training class. I'll begin by going down to the taskbar. From here I have search. Your search might look a little different, but we can simply click in here and begin typing snip. Here I'll see the display options including the snipping tool. Now that will launch and you might also see that the snipping tool will eventually become Snip and Sketch with future updates of Microsoft Windows. At this point though, we'll continue with the snipping tool and I'll simply choose New. So this is going to be a snip or screenshot of the active window. When we select New, the screen gets blurred. And now look for your mouse, which is a crosshair now. Click and hold and drag and outline exactly what you want to capture. When you release your mouse, this will then be added to the snipping tool. From here, you have several different options. One might be that you simply want to save it. So under the File menu, you could save this using a variety of different graphic formats. That way it could be inserted into other programs or it could be an attachment to an email. Another option is to copy it. This would put the image into the clipboard so that you could paste it into an email message or perhaps into a Word document. And that's what I'll do at this point. Additionally, take a little bit of tour of the snipping tool. For instance, we could change this so that it was a freeform snip. So this means that you would actually be drawing to select exactly what you want to capture. If it will take a few seconds for you to set up the screen in a way that will work for you, you can build in a delay. Here you have your save and copy options. And additionally, we have some options for notations or annotating your screen capture. Pen choices or the highlighter. Perhaps these are the key files that I really want to highlight and make sure are visible in that list. And I'll go ahead and copy this again. Next, I'll bring it into a Word document. As that was copied, all I need to do is paste. And I'll do that with a keyboard shortcut, Control V for paste. This might be all we need to do. But as it's selected, notice that we have the markers as we would with other images. And I could move to that and actually make it bigger. So the screen capture fill the available space in that document. If I had a landscape orientation, then it could even be bigger. And notice that this is still very high quality, even if I have it as a fairly large image. And some examples of screenshots might be a portion of your screen, a dialogue box, or maybe it's an error message you want to share with your IT department. Let's look at the keyboard options. If I wanted to capture the entire screen, the way to do this is to hit the print screen key. And this will be abbreviated in different ways depending upon your keyboard, whether it's a desktop or laptop, but that becomes one way. However, you might like the snipping tool better so you can control exactly what that area is. Now, if it's a specific dialog box or window, we have another approach. Let's say, for instance, I want to share some paragraph settings in Microsoft Word. So first of all, I'll move into the Paragraph dialog box in Word. I can simply right-click and left-click on Paragraph. And if these are settings that I want to share with someone or I have other dialog boxes that I'd like to share, the keyboard shortcut for that is to press Alt and the Print Screen key. Now let's see what happens here. I'll go ahead and paste that in. And once again, we could either do our keyboard shortcut, Control-V, or you could right click and choose your different paste options here. So I'll go ahead and just paste that in. And here is that dialog box without anything else on the screen. So that keyboard shortcut was able to isolate exactly 
what I wanted in that case. So that becomes a quick, easy way for us to do a screen capture. And both of these options, whether it's a snipping tool, snip and sketch, or the keyboard shortcuts, these are all built into Microsoft Windows. Now let's take it a little bit further. I want to be able to now capture this into a document or it could be a PDF. Now if it's just a document, I already have this. I could save it and I'll go ahead and do that and then I could share it. But if I do want this to actually be a PDF, maybe to share it without assuming that someone else is working with Microsoft Word, then the option in Word is I simply will go to File, Export, now in some earlier versions of Word, this will be found under Save and Send. But here we have the built-in option to be able to create a PDF. So we don't need to have Adobe Acrobat for this, but this makes it much more shareable and viewable, including preserving all that content. So I'll simply choose that choice and save it to a working area. Notice automatically it's a .pdf and I will publish the file. So I'll have the Word document, I'll have the PDF, but I have a way to be able to create documentation for whatever the instance is. It could be for training. It could be sh to share with our IT support. It could be to simply share information with an external party. Now you've seen how to easily create screenshots in Windows and then save them as a PDF document using Microsoft Office. For more tips on being productive with Windows and Office, head to thesoftwarepro.com slash tips. If this training was helpful, please like and comment on this video and subscribe to this channel. This is Don Bjork, the Software Pro. Thanks for watching.